everyone. I'm Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. We're here at this gorgeous NoHo7 theater here in Hollywood, California. We're here celebrating the premiere of so many amazing films. There are 31 films opening here today, including Toy Story 4 and Child's Play, and 29 short, remarkable films that also have an opportunity to actually get entered for the Oscars, for the Academy Awards. How amazing is that? That this awesome place is giving a platform for filmmakers. It feels like the dream is just so close to these filmmakers. You know, you're just one step away and we're so excited to be here today, including the filmmakers of RNF's Maturing Youth, which is actually screening here today. And not only is this an opportunity for the filmmaker that's just beginning, this is also opportunities for filmmakers and Broadway producers and authors of amazing creations of illustration and poetry and story. And wow, there's just so much talent in there tonight. I can't wait to get in there and interview these guys. We'll have an opportunity to talk to Derek Quick of Four Walt Distribution Company. So guys, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Hi guys, it's Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. Really excited to be here today at the Lamley North 7 Theater here in Hollywood, California. And I'm here today with... Sushil Bibbs. Sushil, do tell us a little bit about yourself. You are a filmmaker. I'm a filmmaker. I was a producer at WGBH in Boston for years. Then I started making my own films. <laughs> Amazing. I've been an opera singer and an actress for a long time and I put that all together within this film. Amazing. So you had some other films before this one, right? Yes, I Can did. Can you share a little bit about the success of your other projects? Oh, I was pleased to have that. Uh, the um, Meet Mary Pleasant, Mother of Civil Rights in California, and that went all the way to the Cannes Film Festival. Wow. So, so did you fly out to Cannes too? I did. I was, was like deer in, in the headlights, you know. <laughs> I can imagine. It was an experience. A real experience because I wasn't really, you know, prepared to see all of that. But I was happy to do it. What was like your most favorite experience when you were there? Like what was your oh, most memorable moment? Probably most memorable was when they told me, okay, go and uh, go out there in the uh, quadrangle and sell your film to people to make sure that they get there. And I went, oh, you know, I <laughs> like, what's that like? What do you do oh, with selling your you, film? You really have to go to the where people are, are sitting around and just sort of get one liners out there and tell them about that film and tell them when it's screening. And uh, when you say one liners, are you totally talking about an elevator pitch? Here it is. 30 second pitch. Oh, yes. Very <laughs> short. Mother of Civil Rights in California. She was the most talked about person in San Francisco and she raised 30 million dollars in the 1800s. You see? Wow. So where can we find some information on that past film? Oh, the past film is on Amazon. It's on DVD. It's on um, the uh, my website, SushilBibbs.com. So it's around. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Oh, well, you'll end it. Uh, thank you so much. And for today, we're here today because you made another great sensational film. I hope. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I'm happy that this little film, which is 30 minutes long, has won nine awards. <laughs> High five. Yes. That so is what I, I call an award-winning filmmaker. Nine awards already under her belt just on this film alone. I'm thrilled <laughs> because it took me nine years to do the film. Oh, I mean, nine and nine, it means something. There you go. It 18. Has to, it has to be. <laughs> special and it's about these two girls it's really about us you know because they uh, were raised in the uh, african-american civil rights community back in the 1800s wow and they wanted to be great opera stars and they started out and they were great opera stars but not quite where they wanted to be and just before they were going to get on the boat and go to europe and really make it what happened was they began to realize what they were taught when they were younger about civil rights and they started to create these musical stories instead that they took back to their opera audiences. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Those became the first American musicals. They created wow. the first musical. Wow, I mean that's going back in history and in time. So does your film travel through time? It travels through time and it has all those performances from opera to musical comedy. Amazing. And it's a lot of fun. I can't way to watch this. I mean, as you know, as entertainers, actors, and filmmakers, we're like the only, you know, 
work out there that can actually travel through time. So guys, you're going to have to stay tuned and watch her film. And it's called? It's called Voices for Freedom, The Higher Sisters Legacy. And they left us some good things. Well, guys, stay tuned. And if you can, please like and subscribe. We're right here below with these links. And you can catch us at www.newsandentertainment.com. I'm Janet Miranda and Sushil Bibbs. Stay tuned. Dream, dream. Dream, dream, dream. It's a story of, of hope. You can achieve anything. I have a dream, 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 dream. Do you have a dream, dream, dream? Anna, I am so looking forward to our interview. Oh, but we had a dream. The opera? Yes. Dream, 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 dream. But the dream was not to be. In the 1880s and 90s, when night riders and lynchings terrorized black people and black-faced minstrels ridiculed them across the land, the first African-American women to succeed in touring opera stood up to become voices for freedom. Be inspired by Voices for Freedom, the Higher Sisters Legacy. If you want the scoop of my news and you want all the juicy stuff, subscribe, follow us. The links are below. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. And you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news and entertainment.